One of the most common questions that I get from people that go to my website and send me a message is from small businesses who are advertising on Google Ads. They've been running a campaign for a while and it used to do really good and then all of a sudden performance started to tank. They don't know if it was something that Google did, the agency that they work with, or maybe it was some change that they inadvertently made. So these businesses reach out to me to see what type of feedback I have for them. And whenever I get a question like this, there's one place that is my go-to to find out what happened. Wouldn't it be nice if you could see the exact changes that were made in a Google Ads account, the date at which performance started to tank, and even who made these changes? Well, the good news is you can, and it's something that's free inside of Google Ads. And so in today's video, I wanna walk you through the Google Ads change history report. I'm gonna show you how it works, and I'm gonna show you why it's a necessity that you're aware of this report. My name's Scott Redgate, I'm a digital marketing coach, and if you wanna save money in your Google Ads account, make sure to grab my free PPC cost cutting cheat sheet. You can get it at scottredgate.com slash cheat sheet, or I'll leave a link in the description below. All right, let's hop into the Google Ads change history report. So there's a bunch of reasons why it's important to be able to keep track of all the changes that are made in a Google Ads account. As I said at the beginning of the video, maybe you had a campaign that was performing really well that then the performance started to go down and you wanna see what happened exactly. Or maybe you're working with an agency that's charging you by the hour and you wanna actually see if they're making the changes and doing the work inside the account like they're promising. There's a lot more reasons than that, but let me show you inside of Google Ads where you can access this change history report. So when you're on the main overview screen, uh, at the very bottom of the list, you'll see this change history report. So when you select that, you're gonna need to input the date range that you wanna see all the changes from, and you're greeted with a change overview report that goes user by user, how many changes were made, and Google will even provide a summary of the changes that were made. And so you can see specific users that made changes and then sometimes, especially if you have things like auto apply recommendations or if you have very specific low volume keywords, Google can make changes for you and so there's a chance that you'll see some changes that are made directly from Google. But it's really nice to be able to see by user how many changes are being made and what the changes are. And then if you click the by campaign tab, you'll be greeted with a summary of the changes at the campaign level. But my favorite tab is the performance tab and here's the reason why. You can use almost any metric that is inside of Google Ads and you can see it as a line graph. And so if there's a metric that's been consistent, whether it's clicks or revenue or lead form submissions or whatever, and it's been consistent and then all of a sudden the line chart drops, you can then focus your date range on the change history report surrounding that time period. And once you're able to isolate the time period that you need to look at, that's when you can scroll down the page to get a more in-depth log of all the changes that have been made. So you can go one by one and see what date a change was made, who made it, what were the exact changes. If you scroll to the right, you can see the campaigns or the ad groups or the asset groups that were impacted. And what's nice about this table is for a percentage of them, you'll actually be able to, with one click, undo a change that was made. So for simplicity's sake, let's say that your Google Ads campaign was driving $1,000 in revenue per day, and then there was a specific date where it went from $1,000 to $0, and so you're sure that the change that was made on that date was the one that negatively impacted your account. Well, let's say there was only one change made inside of Google Ads and it was on that exact date. You could investigate using this information what it was, and if you wanted to, you might have the ability to just undo that change with one click. So I really like the change history report because I do feel like it gives some accountability inside of Google Ads. Whether you're just getting started and you wanna see if a change that you made negatively impacted or even positively impacted your campaign's performance, or perhaps you're working with a consultant or an agency that's charging you by the hour, or maybe you're on a retainer and you wanna see if you're actually getting your money's worth. Now, I wanna be careful with that because there could be a really strong Google Ads account that an agency is managing or a consultant's managing that doesn't require daily or weekly changes, you know, especially if the agreement that you have with them is for once a month changes or something like that. So I wouldn't necessarily equate quantity of changes made in Google Ads 
with whether or not they're doing a good job for you. But I'll leave that up to you to decide, but at least you have the ability to see what's happening inside the account. And so this was a quick video this week, but if you didn't know about the change history report, now you do, it's there. And so I'd recommend taking a little bit of time to mess around with it and get familiar with it so that you can use it in the future. Thank you so much for watching this video. Take care.